What is good everyone? Um, today I'm going to show you how to download and install a MIDI pack, a Groove MIDI pack from Get Good Drums. I currently have a Noop Sandstreet's pack. I got that a while ago and it's fantastic. Um, over the weekend I've seen Misha doing a demo of two packs, um, Krim and JP Bouvet. Um, I checked both of these out. I'm going to purchase the JP Bouvet pack. Um, it's going to suit, I think, a lot of my needs for ambient stuff. Um, it's a little bit laid back. So I'll buy this and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so once you've um, purchased the MIDI pack, you'll go to your email and you'll have a download link. So I clicked on the link. We'll download this. It should be a zip file. Define valid folder. Okay, so I don't know what is going on, but I had a similar problem when I downloaded um Zilla Cabs. A couple of months ago, I actually contacted tech support and they sent me a new link. For some reason, something wasn't working with my computer. But I've got a new computer now, so I don't know what is going on here and why it would be doing this. Um, we'll see how this all turns out. With downloading plugins and MIDI files, sometimes you run into um, some problems. All right, come on. Okie dokie. We're going to unzip, extract. Okay, so as you can see, this is where it extracted the MIDI pack to. So for me on my computer, it was local disk users when documents. So as you can see, this is where it's putting a lot of the things I use when I use zip files. So now to find, oh, we have to put this in the folder it's supposed to go so it's active with contact. So to find this folder, we're going to right click on the kit I use, which is P4. So right click, it's going to open containing folder. Um, so we're going to click on this folder here, users public. So this is where I need to copy and paste the MIDI pack that I just got. So users public documents, the users public documents. And there we have, we got P4. We're going to go into the MIDI files section. So as you can see, you've got the Noop Groove Pack. And these two packs, I think, come with the P4. So we're going to copy the JP Bouvet into this folder. So it's in the right folder now. Now, for it to show up in contact or in the kit, we're going to close this, open it back up, and there we go. All right, so there we have it. All right, cool. So I'll run through that again. So it extracted on my computer to a location. I think it was users when documents. Okay, so it's gonna extract it to a place, but it's not gonna be in the right folder. So to find the right folder, we right click on the kit, and then click on the folder here, and this is where 
we are going to copy and paste it to. So I found on my computer, it was users, public, public documents, album kit, MIDI files. So we're going to paste it in there. So that is how we get it in the right folder. Once you've got it in the right folder, you just close contact. It'll come back. Okay, so another thing I'll show you is how to export it into your door. So I mean, we'll use this one, sure. So we've got the little export here. We just left click and hold and drag it up. Push stop. Another thing I'll show you is how to turn something like this into a different time signature. So, okay, we'll cut it there. Copy. Let's see what that's like. Shorten this one by another beat. Just to make your own unique time signatures. So if you wanted, then you'd just use this for a couple more sections. And so that is how you export. So you left click, hold and drag. And then if you want to just cut and paste, what we'll do, we'll just cut that there. So there we go, we've just created our own unique beat using the groove from down here. What I'll do now is just run through and give you a demo of some of these grooves. Most of the time, the ones up the top are a little bit, um, sorry, there's a fly, a bug, a little bit um, paired back a bit. And the ones down here are a little bit more dynamic. So like I said before, it's 33% um, off, which is fantastic for times like these with COVID, so you can have your own drummer a virtual drummer for you at home. Having something like this can help with your creativity on the guitar. So you might be stuck for ideas or might, your ideas might be very one down, a one track, a one track idea. And something like this can just make your playing branch out Yeah, see things like this, this is what I want to use for the more ambient bits in a song. Like little interludes or bridges, quieter intros. But this pack's still got some really groovy stuff like this.
Got to say a big thank you to Misha for constantly posting stuff. Um, it's great to watch from like the other side of the world. It gets everyone um, interested in different ideas. And so with these two, you can change the, um, the tempo, but I wouldn't because they don't sound right. Just stick with the intended tempo. It's got it written there. And see, when I clicked and dragged before, it actually just played it at the tempo that I've got up here. So we'll do that again. We'll get rid of these. At the moment, this is playing. Oh, that's right. We go like this. Export. And then when we play it up here, it should be a bit slower. Okay, cool. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope this helped some people out there. Um, as you can see, I had some troubleshooting and I've had troubleshooting in the past with um, some of the Get Good Drums products, but they've got awesome tech support. And even though I did say something on my computer before, it's working fine. Um, I don't know what the problem was. Um, so yeah, that was how to download and install and then how to export from um, contact up into your door. Um, how to cut and make different time signatures. Um, it helps with your creativity playing the guitar if you've got different drum beats, different time signatures. Um, at the moment I can't leave the house and I won't be leaving the house for a while. So this is a fantastic product and I'm super stoked. All right, if you like that content, um, hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time.